Hi, Manu. How you doing? Yeah, good part. So I'm just trying to set up this stupid mod thing for mix it up if I can get it to work. Yeah, it doesn't work. Right. We shall get on with the game then, and I can see if we can lead Alan out of the darkness. Finally. I have no idea where my glasses are, by the way. I had them at work. And I got home, and now I can't find them. So. We were in the tunnel. We had run away from the big monster. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. So... But the mighting and the murder sites, that's the radio things we found. It's the owl. So. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. Oh, do we have to do the run through this bit again? Yeah, it's this version again. Run, bitch. I could so. be a dark presence. It was gone. Hey, look, darts. Nothing left in the shoe rocks. Look. 
more. I got told I need to look up more of these because they're all clues to stuff. So like Night Springs doesn't exist. And then... Morgan knew he wasn't alone. So I've been told I need to like keep an eye out for like bits of graffiti and stuff like that. Cult of the word. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Run, bitch. Oh, we'd gone through and found the naked guy, hadn't we? Right, we need to redo that bit. So a man who gets to see a bald naked guy again. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there. Hunting me. <laughs> so I was sprinting then, it's just Alan is crap at sprinting. What you get for being a writer. There it is. I just want to see if yeah, it does have an edge. The dark place was starts killing us. Way. Yeah, because this is the bit where he talks to the FBI officer. I remember now. Heart. Yo, hi, Bart. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. Man who said you'd been doing some, uh, who are you? What is some that? PC fixing for her because she broke it. Yeah, I've had that happen before. Not fun. Luckily for me, it just turned out the the USB drivers had borked, so I had to remove un remove them and redo them. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Almost there, Alan. Woman in the vision helped me somehow. Something had changed outside. Yeah. This is a bit where the hotel appears, isn't it? Was out there. Or the apartment building. Waiting for me. End of part. Right, we'll skip that bit because we did all this before. Now have a look at the naked man again. Yay! Easy fix. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with terror of the light and the shadows cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Mmm. -hmm. Right, let's come find this hotel. Ooh, vision. You need to. Stepping to the murder site, I felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see. 
and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless. So I've been getting stuff ready today because I'm doing my uh my annual Manchester trip tomorrow. To forget. Meeting or a couple of mates and we're gonna have a nosy at the gaming bar. Because they've got like a bar there that has basically you pay entry and you play you pay for drinks and food and then there's loads of arcade machines and stuff like that and you could just play them all for free so we're gonna have a nosy at that and then there's all the Christmas markets and stuff that we're gonna go to and have a look at food and things it is very good I've been the past few years like when I've been able to I've made a point of going even if I just go by myself to explore and for a bit and stuff for a bit <laughs> secrets this means there's helpful stuff this way because the the spray colors are always friendly Is it in here yes there's another word You're gonna there. Word of gun. Not consume ammo. Shotgun. I don't have flare or shotgun yet. Well, I do have shotgun, but we'll go for free ammo because that's always good. So that's where all the radio and everything is. Move. Move you. Move you. Organize things a little bit. There we go. Right, so we need to find our way out. And find our way to the apartments. Can I use the clicky? Um. Oh, I can just go this way, can I? The station had changed. I was closer now. Clicky. Taking that light with me just in case. Came useful last time. I can deal this clicky as well. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Yeah, there's a there are a couple of things I love about the Christmas markets in Manchester. There's a Time almost statue. How long have I been trying to escape? Like, long enough for Alice to think there's a, a stall that sells fudge, like lots of different kinds. So I need to remember to get Dave some while I'm there because I know he loves it. And then there's like a couple of other stalls that make stuff that I usually get things from. The, the dark place. The plaza was ringing again. Huh. This one. Who this? Hey, Alan. Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the Orbal app? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. We would be if you would answer oh, my no, is this scratch? Because he said we're getting we out. Spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? Oh, 
I think you're Scratch. Kind of sneaky shit he would do. Right, into the apartments we go. To another memory. Oh no. Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Come Look in. at the bulge! Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow, yeah. Right you sh shake those hips, buddy. I'll keep an eye out, Dave. I'll keep an eye out for pink flamingos. I read a thing as well. Do you know, I, said, I said the other day, Dave, about um, they wanted to fold Max Payne into like Alan Wake and Control, but they couldn't because it's still owned by Rockstar or Rockstar. So Alex Casey, the FBI agent we keep seeing in these visions and stuff, is was originally going to be Max Payne. So when he gets referenced in the first Alan Wake game as like a character in Alan Wake's stories and then in this one where you find out he's a real guy who Alan Wake based his stories off that was originally going to be Max Payne which is why he's like a a grizzled beat cop when you meet him or when you see him in the first few bits because the first few bits are him Set to go off in the yeah, so they basically just retconned the character name and rather than him being a detective they made him an FBI agent to tie him into the character he plays as in this one. But it was originally going to be the same. It was originally going to be Max Payne. He was going to be like the the grizzled like street detective investigating Alan. Right. So how does this work? Got a camera. Lights. Ah, there's a door. Let's try the door. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Oh no. She's not gonna be here because we're in the dark place and she almost definitely escaped. Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? That's not good. Is he stalking her? So she's got what? Photo of the hand. Shadow people. I'm good. I have had a, like a proper, proper lazy day today. I say lazy, more like I was just knackered, so I spent most of the day like lying this is down. The door as... to my study, where I wrote my books. That's the symbol from Control. This symbol wasn't here before. So, in the Control DLC, you get to see Alan in like a crossover place, and the crossover place has loads of different doors you go to to go to different areas. They all have symbols on, and the one behind. Where you find visions of Alan Wake has that symbol on it. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. But yeah, I'm good. I just said to Bart, I'm doing my Manchester trip tomorrow. Going and having a look at Glitch Bar and around the markets and stuff. Right, what do we need? Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Hmm. Yeah, we all decided, like, there's a, there's a bunch of us from work. We said we'd meet up and check out the glitch bar. And then I know me and a couple of others are just going to have a look around the markets and stuff. I 
Ah, so his wife was doing like a photo project on the dark place. Probably not a smart thing to do. Part one. Give me the camera. How is his memory card? Put you in there. Alan ruined everything. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos and that nod at me things got complicated sometimes but that's life right I keep seeing the we shimmer of the dark place like at the edge of the screen then he's making me think there's something there There. A doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Then he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. Easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do too sometimes. was a little bit. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Oh, fuck that scratch, isn't it? That's how she got a photo of Scratch. So she's getting, she's getting, been getting uh, pictures of Scratch and the Nightmare People. He's moving there. For Q Scratch. It's the spiral room. 
I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story. Initiation. To project myself through the dark place. To look for a way out. The story it brought me here brought me nowhere. Loop me back. I was writing this story. And in the story, I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. What song do we get? <laughs> you get caught, Manu. I watched somebody playing the first Alan Wake the other day, and he literally, when you're going through the forest, um, heading towards the top of the mountain, there's bits where you get ambushed multiple times. He was so scared every single time jumped out of his skin. Right, so it's the darkness calls again. Looks like it has because it looks like we're underwater. recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. 
If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Just need to find it. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. You're in trouble. So much of it. You were a handsome dear. Right. Are we going to go into her like? Wake has more information. I need to keep questioning him. This mess. Ah, she has stuff. She's the one with the shotgun. Um, move. You there? I'm just gonna move these so they make a bit more sense. Blair. We're gonna have more battery pack. We got healing batteries, flares, propane tanks, and the shotgun and stuff. We'll put the extra charms down here because we don't need them yet. We've got a rocket flare as well, but we don't have the flare gun to use it with. Um, overwrite this one. So this is their case wall, and then I can go into her, like her mind version of it. Learn more about the clicker. Ah. Auto fire. Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. 
Cool. And then we'll do this one. Saga was sure she had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered. And we need loads more for the other ones. What about the case board? Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Yeah, you're going to go there. Dehumanizing stuff. The pages we've been we finding new case are more story, story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Oh, we get loads to add to this. So. Gerald! How are you doing, Cheryl? So, we right into the dark place becomes reality. The dark place entity. We've got a uh, form of scratch dark presence is editing wake story to turn the world right. So that's going to be rules. Is it? Oh. No, or is it going to be on this bit? Good, good. Gaming. Sure. Uh, a lot more words instead of bright light so nothing could hurt her here there. we got wait I was trapped in the dark place for 13 years Story changes reality bit by bit. Will change mm. gradual. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I've got to get the clicker to stop scratch. The story can be changed and scratch them back to the dark place. You're going to go there. If you don't stop it, scratch reads the story to permanently change reality at the start of DFS. Also going to go there. Some of the strange reality of the dark place merged with ours. This place in the dark place could near it could overlap. <clears throat> you go you go on that bit. So the overlap is where we went earlier. Overlap by reciting the poem. And then or for later. What else have we got? Stash friend at Cauldron Lake. Another stash in Cauldron Lake. Another fashion stash in Cauldron Lake. All of these case files we have nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. They were just the experiments that bloody thingy were doing. So, uh, from like Ranger Cabin. Sure. Mm. 
So your Bureau of Control, obviously. FBC. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that all was completed. Well. Reenacting the rhyme made the environment change. Strange rhyme was she Right. Charm appeared at the rhyme. Crow doll used. You're just going to go with the creepy dolls bit at the top, aren't you? FBC messing with stuff again. Oh, you don't go there. Think. Another doll. Another doll. Makes sense. And then the cauldron light crime. So the FBC is messing with stuff in the area. Lunchbox. Think saga. Looks like a missing one. I am. Right. Back to interrogating Alan. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them scratch his followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? I'm doing Wait, profiling. The clicker. It's just How this magic know? thing she can do. The writer is the reader. The next chapter... The next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face, the dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. We have more stuff for the case board as well. Cult of the tree. Uh, well, sure, they have the clicker. And then... More about the cult. Time to interrogate Wake again. Okay, Mr. Wake. 
I know you have more pages of the manuscript. I don't know, I can read the awakening. I don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve uh, this. I know there are. Uh, our job. Okay. Remedy managed to get license rights back from Rockstar. This is all I have. So they're working on remakes of Max Payne and Max Payne 2 at the moment. But they have said they're going to continue the whole the trailer at the control Alan Wake universe at some point. Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cult is staring. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing it. Weapon. Max Payne and Max There's Payne two, two things really in the world that I hate more than anything, and that's one, racial intolerance, and two, the Dutch. <laughs> Wayne. <laughs> How are you doing? How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up? <laughs> right. We got manuscript pages, haven't we? Which are here. No, it's not. I fucked up. That's the, that's the dumbest move I've ever done. Wow. You're both terrible. Are men okay? Nope. Every day I'm struggling. Right, let's annoy Alan some more. Um, learn more about the clicker. How you doing, Wayne? Toasty! <laughs> Just thought. Standing inside the trailer at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him. Right, we're going to the trailer. Wherever the hell that is. Will it let us? No. Hmm. Aha. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. Switch between that and the saga stories where the bucket in the janitor's break room. Play whatever order you choose. Let's do an Alan Wake bit. You're awake. I was back. I wasn't able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. 
I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft. Hmm. Not hide out that way. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. Scratch. <gasps> we get to watch another TV show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time he wanted to do something. I was back, and I hadn't <gasps> forgotten. Right, right. I knew Prepare yourselves. I could take control. No more surprises. I have been spoiled about this chapter, but it is a really, really, really good one. You ready? You ready? You ready? This is the main bit I've been spoiled on. But it's worth it. The direction you want to go. So this is the forest, filled with all the shadow things. He looks terrified doing that dance routine.
Get the shadows in the seats. Ladder. Let's go. I don't have any light charges to use. this way a bit to get one. I can't. I think I may have goofed.
but it doesn't appear to be anywhere around here I can steal light from with my clicker. Which means I might be stuck. Ah, lamp. Right, now I can try. it Alan. Just space out again. Welcome to Bright Falls. I have my gun back. Oh yeah, because we're in Bright Falls. I wanted to try it just to see if it did out. Yeah, so this is bits from the first game then. about the dodging thing. Oops. Anyway, you can have a flyer instead. Seeing as I'm 
Oh, it's the speedy ones. And then this should have ammo in it. Yeah. It's like the first game. Not get any more batteries from my torch though. So stick to the flag gun for now. Like that. Oh, there we go, batteries, loads of them. These things are mean. Right. Still he's a torch bearer, and it could have been much clearer. A world needs it. So I can't die, otherwise I have to do all of this again. In comes the guitar solo during the heavy combat bit. Oh look, it even tells me enemies are that way.
in case. Or is this the bit where we actually met the old gods? Yeah, they're a big fireworks show. Chug those pills. You need them. Any more? No, no more loot boxes. Mm. I love her having this stone track play all the way through as well. Safe. Oh no, it's the typewriter again. I'm back to Alan Stair. screenshot that at some point and make it into a stair emote. And then we're back in the room. All the weird musical stuff is done. That was interesting. Fucking weird is what it was, Alan. Another one. Such a dark place am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out. I wonder if it's him actually singing. So I know for the two guys in the the old gods of Asgard, it's actually them singing. Like they've released an album of these songs and everything. You have to find your way out to bring this song to its end. Is our new storyboard bit. I gotta figure it out and bring this song to its end. Um, back to Alan Stair.
And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Arty. Go see Arty. Hello. Swedish brother, Bergel. I at a little uncle, I Like the boy at Yanka Connet, so him at Anna. Well, I need to find out what that means at some point. <laughs> End of parts. Alright, so that's the same song again. Looping forever. Safe room. So I can save here. And then if I go to the bucket, we can play as the other person. these pages in the dark place so why are we finding them here i think i wrote them up i remember writing an endless amount of pages when this happened before the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me maybe the same thing is happening here that's all for now mr wake thank you for your cooperation um That's for later. There. You can just play the song if you want to. Then case closed. The nightingale goes missing for thirteen years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After a stop nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for thirteen years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Weird freaky magic shit is the connection. Let's go to Watery. Oh, 
Who's this weirdo? Coffee themed amusement park. Just like our coffee. So, I can't force it open. And let the adventure begin. More music. All sorts of freaky magic shit. Looking to news and rumors focus in 2010. Cross reference with old case from the New York cult. Similarities, commonalities, and methodology part of the series. I don't have near, near of good coffee from the diner. Coffee all over the place. All them coffee cups. Hello and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. <laughs> so, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin. <laughs> For dear life on the Espresso Express. Oh, soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Nice. It's not haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously, it's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our brutal gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Propane Tanks. We guarantee you jaw a great time. Amazing. Tell me I didn't want to come. I could tell. Not like this trip is even helping. I park getting out of the city would inspire me. Bright Falls just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one act plays about how shitty the world is. I thought scathing social commentary would make me feel like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird. Something really out there. Something authentic. But what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird though, sitting here in the hotel room. Some pieces are starting to fall together. An idea for a new player, a space cult, burning down the galaxy, misguided search for TBD. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny puts him back straight back in the cult's ass. All black cast musical, a rock opera. I wonder if one of those will turn out to be the next Remedy game. find another manuscript piece. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. 
Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. A voice, a direction, an idea, something authentic to himself. Ed knew he couldn't keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled. Under arrest. And another one. Two in one place. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes. Do what they did. See what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First, the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy what had happened? Said some things. Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Hello? It's not opening. And closed. Right, let's try and find our way to this cabin, shall we? This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. <laughs> it's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. I swear I brought my whole kid along. What's up with that car? Jules? You what are you doing? To pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would I pack your gear? <gasps> Ghost answers. Now, how am I supposed to measure the energy signatures emitted by paranormal manifestations? Like your ghost hunters, and you're stood quite clearly next to a haunted car. Look at it. You know, do research, interview some locals, get the feel of it. Before I find my frickin' EMF reader. Where's the car? Another one of those cult boxes. Two, three, four. It was just Simon Says. Fear the dark, fear the woods. Open this with my bare hands. Beep. Need a key or some bolt cutters. Fishing man. You got now to say. It's flooded. Is this our car? Is too watery. Let's find some freaky cultists again. Yeah, Anderson. 
Anderson, I, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for every for Watery. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Dear, <gasps> somebody's lost a cat. Wait, did I hear Artie then? I'm sure that's what it said on the subtitles. It is! Okay then. Catchy tune. He's a decent singer. Ted, how you doing? Oh, great! Another teddy bear invading the channel. Just what we needed. Welcome, Ted Quest Three, and your two viewers. Enjoy your stay, I guess. <laughs> Make you jump. How are you doing, Ted? I saw you were playing. Uh, play some old Watch Two. Doing Marga. <laughs> Very good. Now get your ass in here and untie me. Check out that pile of dead bodies there. They're absolutely dead. Batman's killed them all. Get it. <laughs> Yeah, you've uh, joined us in the middle of a musical show, Ted. So have you been, uh, were you doing like uh, ranked or anything like that? Or were you just doing like quick matches to mess around?
Yeah, I know a bunch of people who've just literally not bothered playing competitive since Overwatch 2 came out. about the coffee amusement park. <laughs> Ah, so that's Thomas Zane, who's the guy from the first game. Yeah, I literally, when Overwatch 2 came out, I played like an hour, an hour and a half of it and went, nah, it's in for me. And haven't picked it up again since. That's a swap. You're locked. After your song is taking forever, I'm going elsewhere. How about you? Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Thor and Odin are not here. They are old tricksters always sneaking <laughs> off here. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your own I'm quite enjoying it, Ted. It ties in a lot to control as well. And I've just played one of the sillier chapters. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Like, if you remember, if you've played the first one, you'll have seen, like, the two old rockers that you meet in the cafe who have a band. They play a big part in this. I'm probably going to go searching for them now. I saw Yumu and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hi. Where are they? Tor and Odin sneaking around somewhere. Definitely quaint. There's only so many times I can keep Fitz in the same hole. Fresh fish. Oh. Yeah, we've just been into the, this area we've just come into as well. As Artie, who's the janitor from Control, singing. I bet they have good fish here. Locked. Wonder where Tor and Orden are hiding. So we've got the lighthouse. A trailer park. Oh, and trailer park. Costella. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Almost, Bar, almost. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Artie to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beer. It's happened to glance over just as you so redeemed it. Preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. 
They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart. I'd say no. Hey, Sarah. Sauna. Sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. The sauna full of beer. Oof. No worries, Ted. Hot. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> yeah, Manu, you'd be dead as well. Lost in the forest with no hope. Unfortunately. Hey, Saga! Over here! These two. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the web page. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Oh, she had her memory messed with. Where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Yeah, Coffee I have. Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, your commercials? They're more than commercial saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and uh, check them all out. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. I should make sure I've gotten everything out of profiling. Flooding did this? Yep. Right, so. Case board. There. We've got. Yeah, it was still for later. An entire new case. Wait, there's a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Hmm. 
Right. We got more stuff on the cult. Trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. The map. So there's Coffee World. Trailer parks that way. Oh, we're going to have to go all the way around, aren't we? But it means we get to go to Coffee World. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. But they don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Life, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe. Sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Give me the key. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Yeah. Call the shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. I want to explore Coffee World. I want to go on the rides and go to the petting zoo. Ah, nothing there. Rubbish. What was that? Who that? What do you think you're doing? FBI, show oh. yourself! Oh no, not these. Bad enough in the first game. Yeah, that's new.
people turning into Taken. Is this the cause? Asshole. Or the story? Or both? Generator means we can make this a safe space. Another cold stash. the stash take the crossbow out put it in the stash ring up yes I change the code as asked what are we guessing oh it's gonna be the darts isn't it so five two seven five Two, seven. I am genius. Wearing the mask, this does not belong to you. Tough, I'm taking the crossbow. I don't have enough room. Right, um, I need to make room for crossbow. Because. Oh, another manuscript page as well. So I'll get into Waterly Woods. So, um, move. You in there? We'll move. A bunch of other stuff in there. See how much room this crossbow takes up. Ah, three. But now I've got a cool crossbow. Like pull the bolts out of here. Time to rearrange shit. Move you there. And then quick slot left. So now I have crossbow, pistol, and shotgun. Nice. May as well save while we're here actually. Override this one. Oh. 
and we have multiple directions we can go. And continue having a look that way. Go that way or that way. What does the map say? The map says left is where we should be going. left and up so I'm guessing this is progress full test symbol with another manuscript piece and another loot box another cult box one two three four five I can hear you. Cultist man, where are you? This dog. I think this is the split off bit that I saw earlier. So it's just going to take me around in a circle. Yeah, pretty much. This is where the guy was speeding around. But we found another little investigation site. There's a rhyme over here. It's another bit with the toys, right? Um, the gentle beast with a beautiful crown runs through the woods. With a worried frown from the hunter, he flees between the mighty trees to make it out alive. So, with the deer and the moose. Gentle beast with a beautiful crown is going to be the deer. With a worried frown from the hunt, he flees between the mighty trees. Deer. Oh. Hunter, he flees between the mighty trees. So is the hunter one somewhere? Huh. There. That did something. What did you do? I do not know. it will take you with oh 
because you're not creepy at all. Okay, then. Another charm. Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. And I can hear another taken person. You. And a cultist. Off you dropped. More ammo. So yeah, this just leads down here, which is the way I came up. So, we follow this. And our options are that direction with this direction. We'll go this way first. You're a taken dude. So what's up here? Safe zone. And a signal tower. got this time. What was the one we've just picked up actually? Saves you from death but shatters. Yeah. You are. Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One day little deer never came home and two of the deers cried all day. So it I saw you right what changed you were that guy down there and there's a Mr. Speedy around here somewhere. And wolves.
Uh, I need healing. There. Right in the face. I'll teach him. There. Oh, here's the other deer. Increases resilience against staggered or being interrupted. Cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Boop. Boop. So there's gonna be one of those kids' lunch boxes around here. There is. And another lunch box. More scraps. Lowered my rifle standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people you least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time. Hopefully till the last time. Townspeople cautiously emerging from their hiding places surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name. And I waved and they, I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get back to my quiet, unassuming life, reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Mm, mushrooms. Suddenly a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I'd known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face and I felt peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. Zombies. And that's literally all there was right here. <laughs> Time to head downhill and shoot the guy in the high vis. Probably do be picking up some of those batteries if I can. Not in there. Where were they? Is it over here? They were in this, weren't they? Or not? Where are batteries? I actually need them now. Oh, <laughs> 
Ah, oh, we'll just have to keep going. We've got flares we'll have to do for now. I see you. Gave me more pistol rounds. Do I have any batteries stashed? Scary bastards. Yeah. Definitely. I do not have any batteries stashed. Damn it. Oh yeah, you're the on death thing, aren't you? So we'll we'll take you off. Resiliency and staggered adds one charge. Might as well put that on. Uh, we'll move you in here. Means we've got flares and stuff. And a bit of extra room. I honestly can't remember where those batteries were that I found. Oh well. Down we go towards Coffee Land. Everybody's favourite amusement park. Waterfall. Lunchbox. Batteries. There's another lunchbox. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. Posted some online, they're getting pretty good reviews, but I appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. It's off. I'm reading all of them. Even your, uh, your creepy slash fiction ones. Right, we can't go that way. Ferris wheel. And someone's been fishing. <laughs> I see another safe spot. There is light. Hot dogs. Just check, see what's nearby first.
into the light. I will get another page. Did you wash your hands? Um, let's have a look at these pages and stuff that we've found. Ooh. Do we have enough for an upgrade? Eighteen for that one. Um, that was good. Saga Overdraw. The string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise. The latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. It's, uh, so we've got manuscript pages. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night. More oh crap, he's in the forest. Darkness boiled in his skull. Like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him. His army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head. Waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy, filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold, a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. Yeah, fuck you, Scratch, it ain't he happening. was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. <laughs> Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing. But involving her daughter was crossing the line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust! What? <laughs> What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalevala Knights Yay. Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. It was coming fast. Right. And then... The radio thing we found was just another advert. Can we... Add anything to the case board?
Okay, so let's we'll start with the lunch boxes because I can add those. Although I'm pretty sure this is just like a record of collectibles for the game. <laughs> Nursery rhymes. Watery. Cold stashes. Right. And then the story itself. Nah. Oh, there's a bit there for the clicker. Right, that's them sorted. Time to save game. And I think I'm done for today. We have made some decent progress. We got to see the fun musical bit. Man who got jump scared a couple of times. It has been good. So we shall find somebody to raid. See who is around. Who is a boot? <laughs> Phil is playing It Takes Two. We shall go and raid Phil and make fun of him. And then make fun of Manu getting jump scared as well. <laughs> Thank you, Manu and Bart and Dave and everybody else. Thank you, Ted, for the raid. It has been nice seeing you all. I will see you all next time. I may be adjusting my schedule a bit while I'm not working, but we'll see. And I still need to work out what I want to do for like my super special Christmas stream. But I shall see you all next time. <laughs>